Hello guys, this is Ms. Augustine, and today we are going to be doing some Boyle's Law problems. I'm going to remind you that P1, V1 equals P2, V2. So let's read this problem and identify variables. So a gas occupies 12.3 liters at a pressure of 40. What is the new volume when the pressure is increased to 60? So identifying variables, we have V1 is 12.3 liters at a pressure, P1, of 40.0 millimeters. What is the volume? So V2 is our question mark. If the pressure, P2, is increased to 60.0. So now, P1, V1 equals P2, V2. So we're going to be solving for V2. So I'm going to rearrange V2 is equal to P1, V1 over our P2. So now we can plug numbers in. So we're going to say P1 was 40.0 millimeters and our V1 was 12.3 liters and our P2 was 60. Now, I'm going to cross out millimeters. It's really important when you're doing these problems um, to identify the variables because you have a 50-50 chance of putting the pressures or the volumes, whichever you're doing, in the correct location. And if you put them in the denominator instead of the numerator, it will be a problem. So when you plug that into your calculator, you actually get 8.2, and that would be liters. But we have to look back at the problem and looking over here, three sig figs, three sig figs, and three sig figs. So we have to add a sig fig here. So we're going to make that 8.20 liters, and that would be our new volume. Now we have to look here and see what happened. Our pressure was what changed, and our pressure went up from 40 to 60. So that means that our volume had to go down. Why? Because Boyle's law shows an inverse relationship between pressure and volume. When one goes up, the other one goes down. So did our volume go down? Well, we started with 12.3 liters and we ended up with 8.2 liters. So our volume did indeed go down. So it is good. Now I'm going to use my little scroller. And I'm going to do another problem. So let's scroll down here and do number, which one did I want to do? I think I wanted to do number four. Yeah, I left a lot of space for that one. Okay, let me just adjust this slightly. All right, so now let's identify variables again. So if 500 milliliters of a gas so V1 is 500.0 milliliters, so that's four sig figs, is collected at 745 millimeters, so pressure is 745 millimeters. What will the volume be at standard pressure? So V2 is a question mark and P2. Now you have to think for a minute here. It's like, wait, what do you mean standard pressure? Well, remember that standard pressure is defined as 1 atm and 101.325 kilopascals and 760 millimeters of mercury. Ding, ding, ding. So we're going to pick the one that works with the unit we already have. So we're going to say at standard pressure, that's 760 millimeters. Now I'm going to try to not talk when I'm writing so that you can hear me because this stylus likes to make noise. So here goes. So our equation is we're solving for V2, so we're going to divide both sides by P2. So V2 is equal to P1 
P1V1 over P2. Now we're going to plug the numbers in. And our P2 was 760. Now, once again, we cancel out and we plug this into our calculator and we get, hang on, plugging into calculator. I got 490.1315. And so on and so forth. And that would be milliliters. Now, inspecting. We were given four sig figs all the way along. So we're going to go to the fourth significant digit here, which is the one. So we're going to say that our V2 is equal to 490.1 milliliters. Now, quick check. What happened here? Our pressure changed and it increased, so our volume had to decrease. Our volume went from 500 down to 490. It decreased, so life is good. So my hints for you for doing these problems is as follows. I'm going to go to just some blank space here. So when you're solving these problems, is Augustine's hint. One, identify the variables. Two, rearrange the equation. Three, plug in numbers. units. The only way you will know that you did things correctly is if the units work. If the units don't work, your numbers aren't in the right spot. And then five round to correct number of Hooray! This is Ms. Augustine signing off.